Eamon and I have spent the last two years living, working, and traveling in our 60 square foot camper van. And over the last month and a half, we've given our home the makeover she truly deserves. With our renos complete, it's time to move all of our belongings back into our teeny tiny house and gear up for our next big adventure. Today, our journey to van life in Europe begins with a 17 hour drive to Halifax, Nova Scotia. Our van will then board a ship and sail across the Atlantic to meet us over in England. Good morning! And a good morning it is. We are feeling a little bit of stress <laughs> As we were supposed to leave yesterday, it got pushed back to today, but our AC is working. That was kind of a delay. Huge win. We are looking to figure out what's going on with that massive pile of clothes. Yeah. And that massive pile of food. Good morning, Bob. Hey, good morning, Rebecca and uh, Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling excited and nervous and all of the good things mixed into one. So. Oh, by the way, if you're new here, you don't know what's going on. We're going to Europe and we're leaving today. Good, good summary. <laughs> <laughs> turning into a little bit of hanger. What up, Eamon? Hi, Eamon. <laughs> we love your new sunny jacket. It's nice to see you in some color. And the reason we were feeling a little bit stressed this morning was not only are we packing up this house for its sale to Europe, but we also had to pack a separate backpack for Iceland. I'm kind of feeling like I forgot something. I have that feeling as well. It was a late night last night. We're gonna be gone for four months. My mom wanted me to clean up this room where I still have like a lot of different clothes. Donate! That's our mesh scratch map. That's everywhere we've been in the world. This is like all of our stuff. Everyone's asked like, where's all your stuff? Like this bookshelf is our stuff. Yeah, but we're gonna think <laughs> all of this is our stuff. No, 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 no. This is, uh, this is old this Gordo. This is our stuff. Yeah, this is our this stuff. We have one thing. closet at my mom's house. Yeah. And, and we're cleaning her up. Down to nothing almost. Are you getting rid of those pants? Yes, I am. Wow, that's a big move. Don't make me feel like I shouldn't. Oh, is that the new Lulu headband you found? Yep. <laughs> We're gonna hit the road, listen to some podcasts. Check you guys in a little. Big game tonight. Big game tonight. Wraps in six, baby. Wraps in six. Do you have any vegan food? Do you take reservations? Bonjour. Do you have any tables available? a tough time here, buddy. <laughs> we are deep, deep in Quebec now. Uh, for those who aren't aware, this is what a lot of people think of the French part of Canada. A lot of people ask us when we're traveling, oh, do you speak French? No, we do not speak French, but Quebec does speak French. So it's a province within Canada. And we're in, heading into Quebec City, which is, I think, really, really French. Je parle un petit peu de français. Oh, uh... uh, oui, madame? But I can't, I can't distinguish my Spanish from my French now. Je parle un petit peu de français. Pero... Amen. Es no, no muy bien. Thank you. We made it to Quebec City. It's raining. We found a Boston pizza. And you guys know that we might be bandwagon fans of the Raptors, but we are the best darn bandwagon fans there are. This chick's obsessed. <laughs> Wanna 
109, 108, 35 seconds to go. Parade is Monday, and we're actually gonna be back in Toronto. What's that? Yeah. yeah. Go Raptors! Go Let's go, Raptors. Raps! Did you brush your teeth yet, buddy? No, did you? Yep. Dry brush. <laughs> good morning, buddy. Good morning, buddy, and good morning, everybody. I had the best sleep being back in the van. I've so missed it. Like, we've been living in the van, but we haven't been living in the van on the road, and it has such a different vibe, doesn't it? If you guys thought that was a little bit insane last night uh, in Toronto, I just woke up and saw what Blog TO posted. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> Let's go boys. Oh, I wish I was there. I've been running laps at the track from my old school. I've been running past all the has been too soon. It's safe to say we are settling back into life on the road just fine. We're having a nice slow morning. Yes, we're still trying to go to the gym. But this is where we parked last night and we thought we would show you guys around real fast. Have a quick cup of joe. I think the St. Lawrence River is just down this way. Oh yeah, it's in my pocket there. We got our hands full, we got a drone, a cup of coffee. You say remember my name when you famous and too cool. We've been adjusting to our new van on the road. There's a few squeaky things. We think we need to put eye hooks where we had them before because the drawers keep coming in and out. And you guys would think we'd be giving you an update on using our brand new toilet. You'd think. You would think. You'd think so. But Eamon decided against oh, getting stupid. peat moss and tried to Such convince me that we Tell shouldn't really use happened, it until though. we ship. No, you didn't want to use it until we shipped so that you didn't have to empty it and then it wasn't sitting there smelling on the van for Makes seven sense, days. right guys? No. But guess who's got to use the toilet I right got, now? Gotta go. Eamon's got to go. He's doing that thing where he freaks out and he just puts stuff everywhere. All right, so <clears throat> our walk is cut short and we're headed to the toilet. Should I just just put, like old times, I'm just gonna Bubba. put a bag in the thing. No! Yeah, I got no! it. No! I have to. You're kidding me. I'll triple bag it. No? You're kidding me. I suggested that we do that this morning. <laughs> You're a crazy kid. Planet Fitness. This is not Planet Fitness. Well, it is, but uh, it it's does. It's not the one from the, in the States. It's not the same thing at all, guys. If you want a drink, it's uh, $15 a day. Okay. If you wish to. Per person. You should, yeah. We should. We look like we need it. No, no. No, you're beautiful. I think for men, you need a t-shirt. No with any color. Well, how come? Uh, it's a long story, buddy, but... Uh, <laughs> okay. That's the rule. Yeah, me, so I would prefer you to see you in the... <laughs> Leg day. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's get it.
That's it. We're done. <laughs> Relentless. But I'm down. Are you down? I'm down. Let's go. Any parking tickets? No, I hope not. Nope. So, wow, great workout, baby. Great workout. I have to be honest. I'm starving. I'm starving. But I wanted to ask you something. And before... And I think I'm gonna know your answer. You're not gonna think it. You're gonna think it's kind of disgusting. Oh gosh, you're asking me the question. Yeah, but okay. all, all, and also them, they can weigh in as well. Okay. But and yeah. I keep in mind, like I'm such a hygienic person. You pee in the shower? Well, of course I pee in the shower. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. not See, not what does it get to it? Dude? Okay, my question is. Stop touching your nose. Is it gross that I found soap and used the soap? The bar of soap. It's soap. This is what I don't understand. Yeah, it's no, like it's in not theory, that weird. it's disgusting. It's not that weird. Like I rinse the soap off. It's not that weird. Really? Would you ever do it? Probably. Yeah. I don't think it's that weird. It's soap. How dirty <laughs> can soap be? That's true. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I would say is think of the bar of soap where it might have been. I know. That's why when I God. pick it, I, I sh like really oh, like get off my all gosh, the. Just bring your own soap next time. Yeah, dude. I didn't. I forgot my soap. So it was looking very promising for a beautiful day and walk through Quebec City and now it's like hurricaning outside. Holy smokes. Look at this. But don't fear, lunch is here. We've got Yves chicken skewers. These are actually incredibly good. Tastes like chicken. Pita and an unbelievable salad. And the salad we have just dressed with some fresh almond ricotta. Where did you get the almond ricotta, Eamon? Well, we made it at a vegan and cheese cooking class with Eamon's brother Fraser in Hamilton. And it's muy bonito. And although Beck and I are fairly similar, sometimes we do things totally different. <laughs> That's my lunch. Mm. That's Beck's. You felt more like a taco burrito pita kind of thing? I tried to stuff it all in the pita, but it completely fell apart, so. It's Talk really this good. Down. Really mm. good. Mm. Okay, we'll see you after lunch. Sad to say, we have decided to journey onwards. Unfortunately, this rain is going to make exploring Quebec City really miserable. Au revoir, Quebec. <laughs> We're going to hit the road. I'm going to change back into some... I even put on a cute outfit to explore Quebec City. <laughs> Can we just appreciate that I have a skirt on for two seconds and now I'm going to put my comfy shoes back on? Yeah. You look great, buddy. Thanks, buddy. All right. Back on the road we go, friends. Who's got the first shift? I'll do it. You'll do it? Yeah. Okay, then. Quebec City is the capital of the province of Quebec and is made up of narrow cobblestone streets, stone buildings, and is rich in French Canadian culture. As Eamon mentioned earlier, Quebec City is predominantly French speaking, and while 95% of Quebecers do speak French, we also have not encountered a local who doesn't speak English. Smart folks, I tell ya. So smart, in fact, that Quebecers actually invented poutine and they also produce most of Canada's pure maple syrup. Now that is a city I can get behind. It is about 10 p.m. Eamon and I have done a lot of driving between the two of us today. And as you can see from some of those clips, it rained and then it was sunny and then it torrential rained and then it would be sunny again. So it's been quite the day. I was just popping on the vlog here to let you guys know that Eamon has actually found this evening's sleep spot. Take that, a breath. That worries. <laughs> that worries me just a titch. Neither of us are planners. I would say that of the two of us, I would do more planning only because he doesn't plan. Oh, wow. This bad lighting and these bumps are making it very difficult to make a good shot. I apologize for the terrible lighting here. Just wanted to let you know, Eamon pick the spot and I'll show you where we end up. I 
think gaming did good. This is very Buddy, look at this. nice. A little private abode. Oh, buddy. I mean, yes, yeah. there is a road here, but it's pretty quiet. You can go for a swim tomorrow. You can breathe in that sweet, sweet country air. How fresh is that taste? Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it, I love it. Good, good picking, baby. Je t'aime. Bisous. Bisous. <laughs> so here's our van. Here's the river. Here's Eamon peeing. And there's the police coming to catch Eamon for public indecency. <laughs> Eamon, we can see you peeing. I know Eamon and I have lived in our van for two years now. You know that? Well, maybe you don't know that, but we've lived in this van for two years. We've just done some major renovations to the place. And while we were doing that, we were basically living in our office in terms of cooking and everyday stuff and just sleeping in our van. So rearranging our lives into 60 square feet is a ton of work and not something that happens just with a time lapse or a snap of the finger, I should say. So to be quite honest with you, we've got stuff like that sweaters and stuff. We don't know where they're going to go yet because we had to end up using those areas for food because we lost the drawer down here. So we've got a sink full of dishes. We don't have peat moss in the toilet yet, but hey. But hey, we're happy. We are happy. <laughs> I'm gonna have a cereal. Okay, enjoy. Maybe we'll catch him in the morning? Yeah, let's catch him in the morning. Catch you in the morning. What an amazing sleep. I'm feeling jacked up. You know, I needed a good rest and I got one. It's now 10 o'clock. <laughs> You slept for 12 hours. <clears throat> We've got a pretty busy day. We're going to start with a smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh, Ow. That was a little too hard. You said commit <laughs> hard for the shot. <sighs> so if we had more time, I would have loved to show you guys a little bit of New Brunswick, but I'm pretty sure we're a little crunched. Today is Saturday. This vlog here needs to go out tomorrow, and we're five and a bit hours away from Halifax, our final destination. Let's show you a little bit about this area here, huh? Mm -hmm. Wanna move my feet? Wanna do my one? Wanna move my feet? Wanna do my one? Wanna move my feet? Wanna do my one? Wanna move my feet? Do you think you can roll up a little bit or no? Uh, maybe. We just had pulled over to switch drivers. Eamon's like two minutes into driving, oi. And we hear, you think it's a flat tire? Yeah. I think we just, we just got a flat tire. Shoot. Oh yeah, real flat. Oh no. What the heck? Real flat like up the hill or something. These guys aren't even changing lanes. They're just veering beside us, dude. Oh my God. Should I go and try and put something like neon? Yeah, but you're supposed to Like have one of your throw pillows? Excuse me. <laughs> it's just gonna ruin the tire. That one tire or yeah. all the tires? No, I don't know, just the one tire. Oh. That is so weird though. The only time we've ever had flat tire issues was literally probably on this highway. Yeah, going the other way, but still. If you don't love the journey, honestly, don't go Where's on the Where's the trip. 70s rock at, man? Whoa, whoa. Listen, listen to, to the, the music. music. We don't have pylons, so Eamon's trying to reflect everybody. Tell them to get out of the way with the orange. Eamon, be careful. I'm trying to set up the perimeter. <laughs> okay, let's fix this tire. One way to spice up a road trip, babe. Woo! <laughs> I just wanted to say, you always make me feel loved and safe, but watching you just fix that like a pro, 
Thank you. Sexier? Nothing sexier. Let's get back to that classic rock. Welcome to Halifax, everybody. Halifax is the capital city of Nova Scotia. And this is our second time here in the den. A couple fun points about Halifax. The people are just as charming as the houses, <laughs> and you don't even need to look either way when you're crossing the road. <laughs> it is kind of true. Also, there are more bars per capita here than anywhere else in Canada. So perhaps that has something to do with the friendly nature of the people? One of my more favorite facts that we are able to Google is we are geographically closer to Dublin, Ireland than we are to Vancouver, BC. Victoria, is... BC. Get those facts oh, straight, okay. baby. Victoria, which is still crazy though. <laughs> Honestly, and I guess that is why we will be shipping the van from here. So if you guys want to join us in the journey of shipping our van, it will be beginning in next week's episode. And thank you guys for watching this one. We're going out for dinner. Make sure you stay subscribed, smash the bell. Smash, 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 smash. Love you guys. <laughs> oh wait, I just wanted to just like take a moment and seriously say thank you because while we had like our tire thing and me realizing we were here two years ago and we weren't vloggers and I know we brought that up a couple of times, just made me realize how far we've come and we wouldn't be here without all of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. The best is yet to come. Bye bye. Thunder only happens when it's rain.